Hi everyone, I'm sat here in Bricksworth as we prepare the power unit for the 21 season. I'm sure there are lots of questions that you've got, um, so I'm going to try and give you some information of where we are and what we're up to. So in terms of readiness, we've got plenty of engines in build, we've already got some that are together, we've got engines on the dynos doing the durability runs, we've got engines that our customers uh, either already gone in the back of their chassis and fired up or in the process of doing so. We have got some issues, we know we've got issues, but we've got plenty of plans in place um, to fix all those issues and I'm sure we'll be ready for the first race. It's an exciting time at the factory, exciting but busy. We get to see the fruits of our labour, to see how much performance we've put on the engine, to see what the durability of the engine is. And of course, what we don't know is what other people have been doing in their factories. So it's, it's full of excitement here, but also nervousness. Have we done enough? The winter is always a challenging time for us as we prepare for the new season. And this year, there have been a few extra additional things thrown at us. It's been the first winter where we've had to react to um, a change to the regulations, which limits the amount of dyno hours that we are able to run. This means we have to make every single dyno hour count and must make sure that we're entirely productive to learn about the performance and the reliability of the power unit during each hour. Also, it's the first winter where we've prepared for only one single upgrade uh, for the whole season. So we have to get all our performance into the first PU that goes to the first race. Whereas in previous seasons, we've been able to split that up into uh, different packages for each PU that gets introduced. So that gives us that challenge that we absolutely have to get everything there for the first race and make sure it's entirely reliable too. Also, um, there are more races this, this season and the same number of power units, which means that individual power units need to do more races. So we just have to make sure that, um, that we're ready for that and, and make sure that the uh, power unit is reliable. We also have the challenge that the winter's been pretty short. Uh, we didn't finish racing until the middle of December and we're back straight into it. So if anything, we've had more to do and a little less time to do it. All the work that we've been doing is on the backdrop of the global pandemic, which of course adds some extra problems and some extra challenges for us. The safety of our staff is absolutely key to us and the business that we're in we do need to have staff on site so we've had to do many changes to the site in order to make sure that it is covid secure and uh, all the testing and all the things that everyone puts in place it is absolutely imperative for us we also have some members of staff who can work from home um, and we've done everything we can to, to get them working from home the amount of it uh, and the uh, amount of innovation that um, the people working from home have done to make sure that they can be as effective as possible is really impressive to see. I'm not entirely sure how we'd have coped 20 years ago, um, but, but with the uh, uh, IT uh, solutions that we have, we've learned a lot and in, in many places we're actually probably more effective than we, than we have been in the past. We've learned a lot, we'll keep evolving um, and we'll try and make the most of the situation we're in. Of course this year we also welcome uh, McLaren uh, as being powered by uh, our PUs from Bricksworth. Um, but what does that really mean to us in terms of our day-to-day -day life? The most important thing for us is that although we will be producing more engines and sending more engines to the race, we don't want to have to freeze the specifications any earlier because that's time that we wouldn't get back and we really need to make sure we're getting every ounce of performance and reliability into the PU. So that gives us the challenge of understanding uh, how we can build the engines, can we be more effective, can we be more productive, um, and we've got all the plans in place so that we can build the extra 25% engines without it having a huge impact on what we're able to take to the circuit. The major regulatory change for the 22 season is a change in the fuel. So it will turn into a, an E10 fuel, uh, so some sustainable ethanol added to the fuel. That's a challenge for us and our fuel supplier, Petronas, um, but something we're happy to embrace. As well as that, we will have gone through the 21 um, pre-season and, and project and are now better understanding the impacts of the dyno restrictions and the uh, fact that we're only allowed the one single performance upgrade per season. So we're slightly changing the way that we're doing the project, um, understanding the impacts of those things and tweaking the way that we're doing things in order to make sure that we can make the most of the opportunities that we have.